Do you remember the show Trigger Happy TV? <laughs> with the guy with the oversized phone. Hello? Hey. <laughs> Dropping everything today. Grapes. Well, hello and welcome back to my office. Welcome to a new video. It's now Friday and I thought I would throw together a vlog of my day. What what goes on uh, in a, in a full-time reseller's world, right? But first, this. Uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Uh, this, I don't know, it's kind of grown on me. It's certainly grown on me since it's sold. <laughs> um, we shared this, uh, what was it, maybe a month ago. We went to a jumble trail and we picked up a load of stuff off one stall, including this blue glass. Um, hang on, someone's at the door. Right, sorry about that. That was actually a viewer. That was Carl. If you're watching, thank you very much for the purchase. Um, Carl got in touch because he saw the set of Paw Patrol plush that we picked up recently. You may have seen it in a video and uh, Carl messaged and um, or his other half did, can't remember now, and they wanted to pick those up. So thank you for the purchase. Lovely chatting with you. Um, so where was I? This, yes, this has now sold. Um, we, we paid a pound for it. Andrea has sold it on Etsy for 50. So yesterday, was it yesterday? No, two days ago we had the little ceramic plant pots that sold for 50 on Etsy. They went to America. This is going to Australia. Um, so yeah, pound into 50 and they paid the shipping to get it to Australia. So that's gonna be quite a packaging job. So apart from that, we've had a delivery of this wall of um, Jiffy bags. These are D1, so your regular CD and DVD size uh, Jiffy bags. I've bought in bulk because the, the more bulk, the larger order you place, the cheaper they get, right? So I think these worked out about nine pence an envelope. Um, what I tend to do is keep a load in stock in the office uh, up here. You can see I got right down to the last sort of 10 or 20. Um, and the rest will go in the loft. I have now restocked this. You may have seen in recent vlogs that this was looking very, very empty. I have been and replenished all of the sizes. So this is now completely full again. I think we've got at least one pair going today. What else has been going on? I listed, well, this is about 40 media items here that are drafted. So I just got to do the pictures and drop those in. And then I've been playing, well, it's work, but it's also play <laughs> with this. Let me give you a close up of that. So this is a Duplo airport set that we picked up fairly recently. Uh, I think we paid a fiver for the lot and I've set it up ready for its pictures. So we've got a little mechanic guy in here who's changing an engine or something, I don't know. Uh, here's a little pilot figure. We've got the truck that pulls the jet along. Uh, we've got a little forklift which is putting the luggage into the hold and there's some more stuff there then we've got the little tower with its radar um, guy down here with this massive phone this reminds me of uh, do you remember the show trigger happy tv <laughs> with the guy with the oversized phone hello that's what he reminds me of. Um, and then we've got a little kind of office clerk there with his computer and stuff. I don't think this is how the set's particularly meant to be built. I, I don't have any instructions, so I've just constructed it as best I can. Somebody else at the door. That was the guy to read the electricity meter. It's like an endless 
stream of people coming to the door because I'm filming. Okay, so yeah, that's my Duplo Airport. Um, like I was saying, I, I don't have the instructions. I just sort of set it up, I don't know, to, to be to represent a scene, right? It, it sells much better. It's worth spending the time to create a scene, lay it all out. Um, you know, that's taken me, what, 10 minutes to set that up um, yesterday. It's been sat there like that since yesterday to do the pictures. But it is worth spending that extra time to lay it all out, make it look presentable and look like a set. Um, like I say, I don't know if that's how it's meant to look, but I like I like what it looks like and uh, it does the job. So I'm going to get the pictures done for this and get that listed. I'm going to go for 50 with offers on, I think. If you look, it's not perfect. The stickers have got a lot of wear. Um, you know, it's obviously been well loved and played with, but I think on a good day, 50 is achievable for this. So that's what I'm gonna aim for. Now I want to give my friend Cliff a shout out. Um, I was surprised uh, the other day when a great big box turned up from Cliff full of void fill again. Um, Cliff has endless supplies of void fill and he's been sending stuff over to me because yeah, I use a lot of it and he has loads going spare. So if you're watching Cliff and I expect you are, Thank you very much uh, for that. Really appreciate it. And uh, really enjoy our little chats we have as well. So I thought I would pick a few orders, show you some of the stuff that's going out. A couple of days ago, I picked 10 random items off the shelves and got them listed. So some of that stuff has already sold. So I'll show you which items out of those 10 have gone. Um, I'll pick a few other bits as well. I won't do everything but we'll get some orders and show you what's been selling. Right, the first order is actually uh, for two lots of the Harry Potter stuff. Um, we sold the ceramic mug and the two little butterbeer like ice cream pots. And I had a message with the order uh, from Leona who has bought these as a special gift for Charlie um, and she said if you can give Charlie a shout out um, I think she said that will suitably embarrass her so hi Charlie <laughs> um, this now won't be a surprise when it turns up you realize but anyway so these two which I shared a couple of days ago have gone I think I sent out offers at slightly less than the list price um, yeah, because they were listed at 10 plus shipping, they've gone at 9, so sent out 10% off offers on those. But also, um, I've still got this one, that one hasn't sold yet, but Leona also picked up this impressive Marauders Map mug. Um, it's an official Studio Tours thing really nice really chunky really big mug so those are going off to charlie and congratulations now leone was telling me that you have got into a paramedics course you're going to train to be a paramedic amazing so best of luck with that um oh what am i doing next uh what should we pick next so oh here's a nice order the plumbing parts that sit over here they are slowly going down. I've condensed them a bit. So we have this shelf and to here. Uh, I've condensed them all up a little bit. We have sold two of these bags. These bags of 10, uh, these are 25 mil straight couplings. Um, we sold two bags of 10 at 50 pounds. So that's quite a nice order. So £25 a bag. I reduced the price on these because they were really, really slow and it's done the trick. So there they are, two bags of those. £50 out the door. Um, next. Now, again, from the video I did recently where I picked the 10 random items, I shared this. 
get it. Stop lock. And I put it on at 20. I found that people are actually selling these brand new, the exact same things. Uh, they're still in manufacture by the look of it. And you can get them new for about 30 on eBay. Um, but I went for 20. Um, did have a couple of cheeky low offers that um, I rejected and then somebody picked it off at the full asking price. So that's £20. One key, which I've just dropped on the floor. So yeah, oh my goodness. Stay. What's going on? There we go. Right. So yeah, happy to move that. Um, some white work shoes. Oh, that's quite an interesting order. We, I think I shared, I had laid out all of that kids play toy stuff, um, as in, play, sorry, play food. And I broke it down into two lots. One lot with the cash register and the play money, and another lot, which is in this bag, which was just play food, this sort of thing. Loads and loads of it. Wee, <laughs> dropping everything today. Grapes. Um, yeah, you get the idea. So that bag has gone for 15. Uh, we sold lots of media. We sold uh, Snow White for eight pounds. Robin Hood, another Disney one for seven pounds. Aha, another of the 10 random items was, they are up here, these Sony PlayStation 1 official um, accessories. These are disc wipes and we had three and they all sold to the same buyer. Hi Chris, if you're watching. Um, Chris has picked these up. I met met up with Chris at um, one of the meetups, maybe a couple of the meetups. Can't remember. But thank you very much. These are going in Chris's collection. Uh, thank you very much for the order. So they will ship together. Should still go as a large letter. Actually, I had some vinyl turn up today. I'll show you that quickly. The reason I mention it is. Um, I bought some seven inch singles and they came in this really nice seven inch mailer, which is going to be perfect for these. Just like that. So that's going to work. Still goes a large letter and give them enough protection. So that's sorted that. But while we're here, I'll show you what I've picked up. Really lovely condition, Erasure, am I right? This is four track EP from 91, or was it into 92? No, 91. Um, seven inch singles wise, I think I think I need one to complete my collection now. Um, I just need to pick up Always. Um, apart from the, um, the more modern picture discs, one of which I managed to pick up, um, there's two more of these I need to get. This is I Could Fall In Love With You, which is fairly recent. Um, but yeah, really like that. Look at that, look at the colors on that. Very cool. Um, the other thing, this actually turned up a couple of days ago. This is Depeche Mode's classic Master and Servant. My copy of this is really ropey. So when I saw this one in amazing, amazing, crisp condition I grabbed it for a couple of quid because yeah I wanted to replace mine that I've had forever which is really ropey anyway so thank you very much for the order Chris hope you are well um, sold loads of CDs actually let me pick one of these orders because it's quite a cool order uh, I'm gonna need two hands for this uh, so hold that thought Turn these off. Let's 
missing one. Ah, yes. Oh, good job I remembered this. It's a Smashing Pumpkins collection. Well, job lot, right? But I was I was re reminiscing about this album and playing it yesterday. So good job I remembered. I need to get it out of the stereo. Okay. Yeah, I thought I'd quickly share this. So the big job lot of um, 90s rock and indie and alternative stuff, there was a whole load of Smashing Pumpkins. So you've got their classic double album, Melon Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness, uh, Siamese Dream, uh, Billy Corgan's solo one as well. There's actually a best of in there. Uh, Pisces Iscariot, I think that's called, yeah. And Zeitgeist. So I bundled them together and they sold same day for 15. So yeah, nice little order there. Right, let's do one more. I picked up a telescope um, for 50p. I know, right? 50p for a telescope. We were at a stall um, and they were packing up. And the guy was just trying to get rid of the stuff. He didn't want to take it back in his house. So like, everything was 50p or less. It was crazy. So and Andrea spotted this sat on the side, at, kind of at the back, tucked away on the stall. And sort of said oh what's this and the guy said um, well Andrea thought it was just a tripod tripods are always handy and he said well it's it's a telescope so I said oh okay well how much is that and he was like 50p so I added it to this great big box of stuff I was buying so yeah 50 pence for it's actually a National Geographic branded telescope it's only a small thing nothing special at all um, but I got it listed and I listed it for £20 which for what that is was really pushing the envelope a bit I think um, had an offer in at 15 or I may have sent that offer out can't remember and it's gone at £15 so from 50p to £15 that does include the shipping but yeah very happy with that most of the other stuff is media. We've sold some Cliff Richard. We've sold some Rolling Stones, some Catatonia. Um, yeah, lots of the media flying out. Phil Collins. Uh, we sold some of the Puzzle Cubes. They're still ticking out, which is great. So I'm going to get this stuff listed. Not listed. Oh, my goodness. Packaged and dropped off. And I'll check in when I've done that and as if by magic the packaging is done so this is my little packaging tower for today Whee. doesn't that look cool so I'm going to bag that up and drop it off although I still haven't tackled this I've left that till last so I will do that next um, but I thought I would quickly um, share a video and then let you go so I was looking at some of our old videos and I found an interesting one where I, I had a su surprise success auctioning off a big bundle of PS1 titles, which went better than I'd predicted. Um, and that was really fun to look back at. So it's quite an old one. It's like six years old or something. But check that video out if you haven't seen it before. Thank you so much for watching. I'll leave you there. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.